Okay, so there was a video that went viral concerning Perry Stone. Now, Perry Stone, he's got a big channel on YouTube because he covers end time stuff, but he's charismatic. Mm -hmm. Charismatics, I told you this before, that they're going to, do they're dominating the YouTube platform now. Yeah. Yeah. Like Sid Roth, for example, and those guys, they're charismatic yeah, in belief. Yeah. Because they believe in speaking of tongues, healings, and visions. Basically, signs and wonders. Mm -hmm. But we don't believe in that. We believe signs and wonders mm -hmm. because we're dispensationalists. Mm -hmm. We believe that was a program with the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. The Christian church is not under signs and wonders. We're under the word of God. Mm -hmm. We walk by faith, not by sight, according mm -hmm. to the scriptures. That's our final authority. Now, Perry Stone, what happened was is that a, he was... Speaking of tongues, supposedly. Now, I always say supposedly because I don't believe right. it. That's genuine speaking That's of right. tongues. Amen. So he was speaking in tongues, how about like that. Now, what he was doing during that time was he took out his cell phone and he kept speaking in tongues under like like this. And then he was doing this while he was speaking in tongues. And then when he looked at it, he went. like that so the thing is this is that so look speaking of tongues okay look at Acts chapter 2 Acts chapter 2 now Perry Stone he argued this all right now I'm going to be as fair as possible yeah. to this person and I'm going to be sensitive toward this person as well because Perry Stone he put up a follow-up video trying to justify himself. Right. He said this. He claimed that you people, you judge me, you criticize me, you made fun of me. But what happened was he claimed that a pastor's wife or one of his friend's wife had cancer. So because she had cancer, he was in grief and they were doing prayer. So he wanted to include that person in the prayer. That's what he was claiming. He was also claiming he was travailing in the spirit, you know, uh, yes. like that. So he did that. That way he can put guilt mm -hmm. upon the people yeah. who view him yeah. Yeah. so that they wouldn't dare criticize him again after that. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm going to do is this. I don't back off on anything concerning the truth, yeah. and that's not going to make me back off. Now, I'm not going to be insensitive and mean either mm -hmm. because I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt that that actually did happen. So let's in, let's assume right here it really did happen. He was in travail and he wanted to pray for this person who was suffering cancer. Okay. Now let's establish a few things right here. First, let's look at Acts chapter two concerning speaking in tongues. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's look at Acts chapter two, and we will read verse four. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now, notice right here, in Acts chapter 2, verse 4, when you are speaking in tongues, it's supposed to be filled with the Holy Ghost, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, the Holy Ghost should fill you. I would like to ask you one question, Mr. Stone. When the Holy Spirit fills you, you're in that s sacred connection with God, correct? Yeah. Now, do you believe this should be a sacred thing? Now, Perry Stone, he tries to indicate about blasphemy against the Holy Ghost by making fun of this. But then, he'll, but then he tried to justify himself by saying, I'm not saying they are committing the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. I'm, I think they're doing that in ignorance. Well, then why would you even mention yeah. that? The blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Because you're trying to put some kind of guilt upon the person, trying to put some fear into them. Yeah. But let's but let's talk about that, the blasphemy of the Holy Ghost. So be, why is this a blasphemy? Because it's a sacred bond, you charismatics claim, correct? Isn't this a sacred bond, a sacred communication? So anything that does irreverence or critique or just Sully's this sacred bond, that's blasphemy in. Yeah. So I'll, that's, your, that's your mindset, right? Mm -hmm. I would like to ask you one quick question. 
Do yeah. you honestly believe when you're having a sacred communication with God face to face that you're going to take this guy out? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It doesn't change that fact. Now, let me say this. I'm very certain, okay, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. In his mind, it was a travailing time. He couldn't help it. He wanted to take care of this person. But then he's going to have to admit this. His speaking of tongues during that simultaneous moment was not a filling of the Spirit. He's going to have to admit that. You might say, why is that, Pastor? Because you're doing a sacred communication with God. And a sacred communication with God is just between you and God. If the Holy Spirit is really filling within you, that means no interruptions. Mm -hmm. yeah. No interruptions. If you want to... Okay. You want to take care of this phone call? Say that you're praying for the person? You know what I would have done? If the Holy Spirit was really filling within me? I'm not going to be distracted by this. Yeah. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to stop the communication. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say, let me take care of this phone call real quickly. Because something bad happened. And then I would say, okay, we want to pray for this person. This person is going through yeah, cancer. Right. Let me continue my communication with God on her behalf. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. How about that? Yeah. See? Because this is a, talking about a communication yes. with God right here. Yeah, exactly. This is a communication with God where it's a sacred moment. If the Holy Spirit is really filling within you, that means it's not going. there shouldn't be any distractions. If the Holy Spirit's filling within you, you're lost within it that you're speaking His tongue and His language. Yeah. See, this is why this is not Holy Spirit filling right here. I don't believe in that for a moment. He claimed he was travailing. When he was looking at this, I guess speaking in tongues with groanings which cannot be uttered. That's what he wants to say. Okay, so let's look at Romans chapter 8 then. <laughs> Alright, now look at, okay, before you go to Romans 8, there's, this is how you're going to catch him. Acts 2 verse 4, right? Yeah. The Holy Spirit gave them speaking in tongues with what? Utterance. Is that what it said? <laughs> okay, it's uttering. Yeah. If you're speaking in tongues, you're uttering. Now, if he wants to claim that he's groaning in the Holy Spirit here, look at this. Look at Romans chapter 8. Yeah, come on. Romans chapter 8. Can be heard. Come on. Notice right here what the Bible says if you're groaning in the Holy Spirit in verse 26. Romans chapter 8, verse 26. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings... Uh, which what? Cannot be uttered. <laughs> then you want, so you know what this, okay, by him admitting yes. he was travailing, uh -huh. he admitted I was not speaking in tongues. Yes. Yeah. That's good. He admitted he was not speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. Let's say that, no, it's not referring to Romans 8 while I'm travailing in the Holy Spirit. Then you know what you, then you know what happened? I'll tell you what happened. If he claims that was not the Holy Spirit communication right there, then you know what he was doing? Uh, you know why? You know what happened? I'll tell you what happened. Why did he change his language all of a sudden? I thought he was filled with the Holy Spirit. He was speaking in tongues. He wasn't at that moment. Otherwise, he would have kept going like that when he was looking at his cell phone. Why did he all of a sudden go, Chaba, I tried to get that dead shot. I did it. Uh. 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 That is not, so it does not change the fact, what we're pointing to you out, Mr. Stone, sir, is that you are not speaking in tongues. That's the point. And that is not blaspheming against the Holy Ghost. Blaspheming against the Holy Ghost, if that's what you think we're doing, no, you are actually doing that. Yeah. If you are filled with the Holy Spirit at that time, and then you are doing something like this. It's a sacred moment. That's what you got to understand right here. So what's the simple answer to this? The simple answer is this, is that we Bible believers know this, is that the speaking of tongues incident was happened during the Acts of the Apostles. That's why it's called Acts of the Apostles, because the signs were given to the Apostles. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, Mark chapter 16, 
said he was speaking to the eleven mm -hmm. apostles. So these were all apostolic signs. Yeah. These are not for saved Christians today. They were for the nation of Israel that time. Mm -hmm. Any Gentile Christian who participated in the signs and wonders was because of an apostolic Jew that was there and God's program with Israel was not done. If you have questions on that, if you don't understand that, please watch my video, Amazing Dispensational mm -hmm. Truth from Genesis to Revelation. By watching that, it will be very eye-opening. There's one thing about Perry Stone that really disturbed me when he gave up his follow-up video. He kept saying the word Baptist was the one responsible mm -hmm. for critiquing him on the video. He also, kept, he also said this, these people believe that signs and wonders, they used, they used to operate back then during the time of Acts, but they don't operate anymore. Oh, wow. I don't understand why, if God's the same yesterday, today, and forever, he said. That's a direct attack against us. Yeah. Dispensationalists. That's an attack against Baptists wow. who believe in dispensationalism. Well, that. So that's Perry Stone. Perry Stone, you got to understand, is this. He may not know this. This is contributing to the new world order system Sorry, that he thought he's up against. You might say, why, why are you saying this is a new world order system, Pastor? Because if you look at charismatics, they all combine together with the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. Perry Stone's from TBN. He talked with Paul Crouch. He's friends with Paul Crouch. These guys, TBN, they're undoubtedly connected with Catholics. They even show that publicly on the program several times, many times. I bet you you can even... Google search it. See? But the Antichrist will use those signs and wonders that charismatic boasts to deceive people. Look at 2 Thessalonians 2, huh? 2 Thessalonians 2. Go ahead, go ahead, sir. You mentioned what he said the uh, he said the Holy Spirit um, uh, the, um, he said something like that, but you mentioned what you just said about uh, what was that last quote you just said about him? They said about God. Um, God being the same yesterday, yeah, today, and forever. The Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Is there anything to that that maybe the about the Holy Spirit said being the, Holy the same? Spirit was the, yeah. mm -hmm. the same yesterday, today, and forever. The simple answer to that is this: for people who don't know, the easy answer is Hebrews chapter thirteen. We do believe God and the Holy Spirit is the same yesterday, today, and forever. But First Corinthians chapter twelve says mm -hmm. the same God and the same Spirit gives diversities of operations mm -hmm. and diversities of uh, gifts. It is the same God, but he operates differently. And that's what we believe in. He operated differently in the Old Testament, in the time of Acts, and today. And there is absolutely no doubt about that. If you highly doubt God operates differently, you, don't, you should throw away your Bible because it says Old Testament yeah. and New Testament. Yeah. Old meaning old. New is something yeah. different. Yeah. Unless you don't know English. Now look at 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. How does this contribute to the Antichrist system? Look at this, verse 8, And then shall that wicked be revealed, that's the Antichrist, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, mm -hmm. even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all what? Power and signs and lying wonders. Look at verse 11, And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Now, you charismatics get a lot really upset at me for saying this, but i got to tell you this. You're stuck in a strong delusion. Yeah. I've talked to some of you online and on the phone. There's one thing that I cannot get through to you. You guys are very emotional people. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That's the selfish sensitivity that I warned about. So these pe so you people, whenever I talk about the warning you about these vision stuff, healings and all that, What's so strange about you guys is you people who became very sensitive and call us mean-spirited and hateful, you become the most hateful people I ever talked exactly. to. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Some of them would even have the audacity, I kid you not, some of them were close friends with this church. Some of them would have the audacity to say, I don't know why God's judgment didn't fall on this church yet. Well, in the world, when I helped you guys out at the beginning... So you see, this is something demonic. That's not Holy Spirit led. Yeah. Satan has a hold of you. Why am I saying this to be mean? No, because I really care for you. I'm scared. Yeah. I'm so scared of you. I hope that you're opening the veils off of your face and see this is a satanic hold on you. Now, 
you're going to either abide by scripture or by your experience. Yeah. And that's the ultimate authority I see yeah. when talking with you, yeah. charismatic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can't blame me. You know, you weren't there when I talked with Jesus face to face, etc. You're mm -hmm. right, I was not there. But mm -hmm. I'll tell you three people who were there Jesus, the Bible, the devil. So you're going to have to make a you're going to have to make a choice on what the Bible says concerning that experience mm -hmm. as your final authority. And Satan, he uses the emotions of your heart to make you believe it's a good thing. Because homosexuals, they honestly, you know what they feel? They feel yeah. like this feels good. Yeah. And that's why they become hypersensitive too when you attack their belief. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing with the charismatic. You got to get it off of your selfishness. That is selfishness. Amen. Where you're only looking at your own experience. You're not looking at what the Bible says. Look at what the Bible says and it doesn't matter how you felt or what you experienced. You know what I do? I discount everything. Everything in my past. Family, friends, experience. Everything like that. All the loving moments that I had with family and friends. You know what Jesus said? You either hate mother, father, sister, brother, your own life also. To follow me. And that's my case right here. Watch two videos. How to witness to charismatics. And then it'll show you scripturally. And then also watch Amazing Dispensational Truth from Genesis to Revelation. I have one favor to say. Please show this to Perry Stone. I really, I, this really needs to show. Show this to Sid Roth. Show this to all the popular charismatic channels out there. They need to understand this danger. And watch what's going to happen. It's going to contribute more to the new world order where they're now going to deceive onliners to join this system mm -hmm. of this signs and lying wonder stuff. Yep. Heavenly Father, I pray that tonight's teaching has been eye-opening, serious, and helpful to the people. We cannot be deceived by Satan's devices, no matter how loving it looks. And that is Satan's greatest, greatest weapon against the church, is that he turned your most important aspect that you wanted the church to practice, love and charity, into something demonic, purely evil, where people have become selfishly sensitive, and now it's even hard to reach these people. It is so sad. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.